Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7a practice problem on the topic of microscopic thermal energy. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like as this really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're gonna be working on today. It's two parts, so let's just concentrate on uh, part one and then we'll put uh, part two back on the screen. You perform various experiments to determine properties of an unknown substance. In one experiment, you place 10 moles of a solid and 12 moles of the unknown substance in separate insulated and sealed containers. You find that when you add the same amount of energy to each container, you measure the same temperature change. Assume there is no phase changes for either substance. Determine whether the unknown substance is a solid liquid a monatomic gas, a diatomic gas with frozen vibrational modes, or a di diatomic gas with active vi vibrational modes. Uh, show your work and explain your answer. Okay, so as you can see, I have my uh, work over here. So we're gonna be focusing on problem one. These are insulated containers, which means that when I add the same amount of energy, nothing goes out as heat or work. Now, if I add the same amount of energy, now let's just assume that it's in the form of heat, but it could also be work. Uh, both of them are gonna have a temperature change. In this case, if I'm adding energy, I would expect the temperature to go up. So, because adding the same amount of energy results in the same temperature change, That must mean that um, E thermal is the same. So, okay, let's just, uh, if you add the same amount of energy, it could be Q or W, it could be heat or work. It doesn't say, but it doesn't matter. Then we're gonna get uh, the same change in E thermal because these are insulated containers. This means that, you know, these are two separated insulated containers. So if you draw two energy diagrams, it, it will literally be the same energy diagram because it's the same thing going in and nothing goes out. So, so now um, this means that changing the thermal solid for the solid it's the same as a change in a thermal unknown subst un substance. And now I'm gonna use my equation for e thermal which is let's just just change one half N KB T times number of modes per particle like this. Now maybe on lecture you saw this to combine as total number of modes because if you multiply the number of modes per particle times the number of modes that's going to give you total number of modes and then the rest is one half kvt. Regardless of how you saw it, this is the equation that we need to use. And then I'm going to substitute both sides of the equation. So for this side, we're doing the solid. So this is one half. And then for the solid, n is equal to 10 because it's 10 moles. Then um, kvt. Oh, okay, we I don't even need to substitute. Oh, and this is a change. I'm sorry, because this is change in thermal energy, so change in temperature. Times number of modes per particle on a solid is equal to six. Again, I just did a tutorial on that. Uh, if you want more clarification on that, feel free to go back to the tutorial because I'm not going to explain that again. But basically, uh, for a solid, oh, here's the thing, just pull out of the trash can. So for a solid, we have a total of six modes. So this is equal to six. 
And then the other side of the equation is 1 half times 12, because it's 12 moles, times Kb, times delta t, and then the number of moles per particle. Okay, so different color, one half, one half goes away, Kb, Kb goes away. This is change in temperature for the solid. This is change in temperature for the unknown substance. Usually I would subscript this, but in this particular say, uh, in this particular example, they are saying that it's the same temperature change. So because of that, then I can cancel them. But again, usually this would not be the case. So now I have uh, six times 10, so this is 60. And this is equal to 12 times number of modes per particle of the unknown substance, which means that the number of modes per particle of the unknown substance is equal to 60 divided by 12, so that would be 5, 60 divided by 12, that would be 5. So now we just figure out, so solid or liquid is equal to 6, so this is not possible. Monatomic gas, monatomic gases, according to my review, that would be three modes, so this is not possible. Diatomic gas with all of the modes activated would be equal to seven, so that is not possible. So it must be a diatomic gas with frozen vibrational modes. Diatomic gases have a total of seven modes. Um, yeah, I have a total of seven. Here it is, seven modes, two of which are vibrational. If these two are inactive, that leaves us with five. So that would be final answer. So this is a diatomic gas with frozen vibrational modes. Final answer. All right, so now let's just go ahead and do part B. Let me put it on the screen. So part B says, as pictured on the right, in another experiment, you combine two moles of a solid with three moles of a diatomic gas with vibrational modes frozen in an insulated container. The two substances are initially at different temperatures. As the two substances reach thermal equilibrium, which one will have a greater magnitude of a temperature change? Show your work. Okay, so as you can see, I have the problem over here. In this case, instead of two insulated containers in which we individually add heat, both of them are put together and they start at, a, at some temperature and they finish at thermal equilibrium. We don't know which temperature went up, which temperature went down. Um, it really doesn't matter because what matters here is that both of these substances um, are on an insulated container which means that energy is conserved. So if there is no Q or W, because this is insulated, then whatever one went up, the other one goes down, which must mean that both of them the solid must be equal to the change in E thermal for the gas, like this. This comes from energy conservation. If you draw your energy diagram, you're gonna see that because the energy diagram is closed, whatever one goes up, the other one has to go down which means that the addition is equal to zero, which means that they have to be equal to each other in magnitude. Okay, so they have to be equal to each other in magnitude. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straight up use this equation again. So let's see. So for the solid, E thermal is one half, and 
is two because this is two moles. KV. Delta T for the solid. And the number of modes per particle for a solid, again, look at the review, is equal to six. And this must be equal to this side of the equation, which is the gas, so one half again. Number of moles is equal to three. KB is just a number. Delta T, this is for the gas. And number of modes for a diatomic gas with no vibrational modes is equal to five. We just did that, we just argued that, so this is going to be equal to five. Okay, so now, again, I'm just substituting this equation. Substitute, substitute, straight up. Uh, the one halves go away. KB goes away. I cannot, again, I cannot make this go away because now they're not the same, they are different. So that would be wrong. So on this side of the equation, we have 12 times delta T solid is equal to 15 delta T gas. And this must be equal to each other. So what does this mean? Well, if these two need to be equal to each other and this 12 is a lesser number than 15, then this number must be greater than this number so that when you multiply them together, you get the exact same number, right? So final answer is that delta T for the solid must be greater than delta T for the gas. because this equation needs to be true and you have different things multiplying the one that has the lesser number multiplying must be higher so that they multiply to the same number uh final answer so there we go is there a part c let me check real fast no i don't think so is there anything that i'm missing nope all right so this is the end of this practice problem i hope that you guys have found it useful if you have, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as that really helps our channel and I will see you guys on the next video.